Hey there, everybody, it's Brian with Circuit Crush TV, and I have another unboxing to do, only this time it's a little bit different. The last couple of times you guys saw me unbox some robots, this time I'm unboxing a 7 inch capacitive touchscreen for the Raspberry Pi. And this, um, again, is an item I have no experience with. I've never used, and here's some specs. I don't know if you could see them. And we can see this, this rubber band is still on the box here. And this was generously donated to me by a company, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, so I'm going to throw the name up on the screen, Lubella. And I think this item costs about oh, 70, 80 bucks. So it, it's a generous donation. And they contacted me after seeing some of my robot videos with the unboxing and assembly asking me to do this and I agreed that I would. So here we go. Let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and cut this rubber band off. There we go. Let's get rid of that. And let's see what's in the box. Okay, here is the touch screen itself. And again, I have no prior experience with this thing. I don't know if, I don't know if those are scratches. What do they send me a, a refurbished model or maybe there's a protective coating on here. I am not sure. I got it for free, so I guess I can't complain either way. Let's take a look at the back and here we see Raspberry Pi Zero, Raspberry Pi, a couple of buttons, power, menu, up, down, exit, and some other connectors. And it looks like there are speakers on the back of this also, and then some standoffs to mount it. So that is the screen. And what else is in this box? So. This looks like it comes with a screen protector. Okay, that's pretty interesting. That's nice that they provide that with the item. And a little quick start guide. And I, again, I have not had a chance to look at any of the stuff, the guide, the screen, you know, any of it. Um, let's see, what else do we have? Okay. They provide this cable, a magic power cord, try it. Hmm, okay. Looks like it's a stylus for the screen. Some kind of, looks like an HDMI connector and a ribbon cable. Some hardware, probably for mounting the screen. Here we have an AC adapter power supply. And this is, let's see, puts out three, no, five volts, three amps, yeah, 3,000 milliamps, same as three amps, and it's got a USB connector on it. And then here we have it looks like some cables. Let's go ahead and open this up so we can get a clear picture of what kind of cables we have. Okay, we have a couple micro USB cables and then an HDMI cable. So one of the things this company wanted me to do, and I, I told them I would attempt to do it, mind you, I never used a screen before or seen it in my life, is connected to the Raspberry Pi. And I have a Raspberry Pi B3 Plus here. And they were kind enough to email me some directions on how to do this because I didn't want to fumble around with it during the video. But um, I'm making no promises because, again, I've never used the screen before. So here we have the Pi B3 Plus. And in order to connect it, it looks like, well, first we need to power the screen. So we need, we need to flip it over. And let me make sure I'm at orientation right. Okay, so we power it. 
with one of these. And here you can see on the board, better if I use this stylus. I think it's a pen too. Is that? Yeah, it actually writes. Why don't I write on it? So here you can see five volts in. So I'm just going to go ahead and reach over here in front of the camera. I know this is kind of awkward and try to plug that in the right way. Okay, and then plug this in. And unfortunately, I don't know if this is going to reach the outlet. You can't really see the outlet. Let me, let me get up and try it. Okay. Well, looks like it reached. But before I power it up, I want to hook up the rest of the things I'm supposed to hook up here. So here we go. Here is another USB to micro USB cable. And this one is going to go to the Pi. And um, this here looks like it goes to this port. It says 5 volts touch. So we're going to plug that in like that. Boom. And then into one of the Raspberry Pi's USB ports. It doesn't matter which one. I'm just going to use that one. I want to get some of this other stuff out of the way so you guys can kind of see what I'm doing without a lot of distractions here. I don't know that I need this. And now it wants the HDMI. And we have our HDMI in port here. And then of course the Pi has its HDMI port here. So really straightforward. Now as far as actually getting the screen to, to do something and, and work or show something interesting, um, probably not going to be able to do that because, again, I haven't had a chance to play with this thing, write any code, anything like that. And, you know, you guys have seen me maybe do a lot of Arduino videos. I haven't really done a whole lot with the Raspberry Pi, but the Raspberry Pi is, in case you don't already know this, a very popular single board computer, a little bit different than the Arduino, not quite the same thing. It's kind of like comparing, you know, apples to oranges, but um, they both have their place. It just depends on what you want to do. Okay, so let's plug the power back in. And I do have to power the Raspberry Pi separately, I believe. And I don't... Oh. Oh. No inputs. I don't know if you guys could see that because the, the power cord isn't going to stretch. It said no input signal. Um, so just for kicks, let me come back when I actually have the power supply for my Pi. I got to go dig it out. So I will be right back. Okay, I'm back and I have the Raspberry Pi plugged in, but I don't have any kind of SD card with any operating system installed on it. So we are still staring at a blank screen. Let me unplug it and plug it back in real quick so we can get something on the screen. But anyway, unfortunately, I don't really have anything else to really show except how to connect this to the Pi. And, I, you know, when I get a chance, I'm probably going to play with this thing more and see exactly what it can do. But hooking it up was relatively simple. It looks like um, a high quality screen. I just wish I could do more with it right now. It looks like maybe they sent me a refurb or a return. I might, I don't know, I might ask them about it. But again, it was free. So really, really, really shouldn't um, complain. But uh, here it is, guys. Um, they wanted me to unbox it and hook it up and show it to you. I know it's not a lot to see, probably not very interesting, but um, if I get a chance, or when I get a chance is more like it, I'm probably going to do a little bit more with this screen.
Okay, guys, and I'm back, and I did, yeah, it's upside down, because if I try to turn it around the other way, the power cord won't be long enough. So I actually have here the original Raspberry Pi B+. And I had been experimenting with this a while ago, kind of got forgotten about, but I decided to go ahead and give it a whirl, hook it to the screen, and here we can see it's booting up, actually, because I just plugged it in a second ago, and I would love to be able to turn this around this away but I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it and there's a tangled mess of wires over here but here we can see it's a screen it's got good color from what I can see and let's wait and watch this thing boot and see what what pops up on the screen here okay so it looks like it wants me to log in and I don't have a keyboard connected to the Pi Okay guys, I could not resist, so I went ahead and grabbed a keyboard and I hooked it to the Pi and this is getting crazy messy over here with all these wires in this little space. But um, as you can see, it's it's not a graphical operating system. I forget which one I installed on here, but it's a command line and it wants me to type some kind of command. I just wanted to log in and see what happens because honestly, this is a project that's been collecting dust on my bench for uh, several months and I, I don't quite remember exactly where I left off. But um, just wanted to see if I could do a little bit more with the screen you know, I wanted to deliver for these guys and also for you watching this so it's not boring. But there you have it. If you need a good touch screen, probably not working right now because it's a command line. But um, you need a good touch screen for your Raspberry Pi. Give these guys a try again in Slupella. I'm going to put the name back on the screen again because I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. But um, their name is up there, and you can find them on the internet. And I will be back with you guys later. Thanks for watching. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Want to learn more about Arduino and microcontrollers? Get free access to my new course, Arduino Academy, by clicking the link in the description below. You'll love it.